Hello everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, we'll solve a problem from the rotation chapter of, of the book Pathfinder. And this is problem number 15 from the Build Your Understanding section. So in the question, we have a, a cup having the shape of a frustum of a cone that is placed on a horizontal tabletop. The mass of the cup is going to be small m and the diameter of its bottom, five centimeters, a uniform rod of mass capital M is placed in the cup as you know shown in the figure. The rod is inclined at an angle of 60 degrees to the horizontal. Okay, so this angle is provided to be 60 degrees. So we have to find the maximum length L of the rod so that the system will not turn over. So basically we can see that if we keep increasing the length of the rod, there will come a point where the entire structure will rotate about the hinge point and it will turn over. So we have to figure out the limiting value of the length of the rod. Okay, this is the diagram of the situation. So uh, in this problem by basic intuition, we can see that the entire structure would when it is about to turn over uh, it will turn about this particular point over here let's call the point as point two so basically uh, all we have to ensure is that the net torque of the entire system about this point o is zero because uh, when it becomes non-zero is, is when the system is about to rotate about the point o right so now let's analyze the forces so let's say my system under study is the rod plus the container both okay so if i take both of them into account then I don't have to care about the torques due to the reaction force at this particular point and the reaction force at this particular point between the rod and the container. Why? Because those normals are actually internal forces now. So I don't have to consider their moments, right? Other, so what are the other forces that we, those forces are? Firstly, the normal from the ground. Secondly, it's the weight of the rod and the weight of the container, right? Now we are interested in the situation when the container is just about to topple, right? So we know that the normal reaction from the ground will shift to the point O when it is just about to topple. So basically the torque due to ground normal will become equal to zero. So the ground normal, it will shift to the left when it is just about to topple. So we don't have to consider its moment when it is just about to turn over. Okay. So, so at the end, all we have to ensure is the torque due to mg plus torque due to small mg, this must be zero. Okay, so this is the only thing that we need to consider. Okay guys, so now first let's analyze the frustum of the cone. The center of mass of this container is going to lie somewhere on the symmetry axis, right? But the nice thing is that we don't need the y coordinate of the center of mass because in order to calculate the torque due to mg, all we need is the x coordinate, right? Because the torque is going to be mg into this distance x, which is actually diameter by two. So let's write down the torque due to small mg. It's going to be mg, which is the weight, times the momentum. So let's just mark the cm to be somewhere over here. mg will act vertically downwards and its momentum is going to be the radius of the bottom, which is d by two. Okay, and its direction is going to be in the clockwise sense with respect to the point O. Now we have to figure out the torque due to capital MG. Okay, so for that we have to determine where the center of mass of the rod is going to be. So we are taking the length of the rod to be L, right? Center of mass will be at a distance of L by 2. Now obviously the center of mass is going to be towards the left of point O because, uh, because if it is directly above the point O, then this is not a toppling condition, right? So in order for the structure to topple, the center of mass should be somewhere over here. So let's say, let's mark the CM to be at this particular point, doesn't matter. So the distance of this end from the other end of the rod is going to be L by two. Now guys, as we are only interested in the horizontal distance, the horizontal distance of the center from the other end of the rod is going to be L by two cos 60, which is going to be L by four. So now let's just write down the force of gravity, capital MG at this particular point. So the momentum in this case is going to be L by four minus the diameter of the base, which is D. So the torque due to capital MG is going to be capital MG times L by four minus D, but this is in the counterclockwise sense, right? So we want this to add up to zero. Okay, and uh, after substituting the values, you'll get the answer for the maximum length as 40 centimeters. So if you increase the length even a little bit over 40 centimeter, then the CM of the rod will shift to some point over here. And then the counterclockwise moment will overpower the clockwise moment and the entire structure would topple above the point O. So that's it for this question, guys. If you have any doubts, you can comment. And please do like, share and subscribe if you want more such videos. That's it. Thanks for watching.